everybody, and welcome to episode number 10 of Going Direct to Panini Podcast. I'm Tracy Hackler. Scotty P in the he house. Is, he is Scotty P. Well, actually I'm not, actually outside of the house. Yeah, I'm outside the house. right now. I'm enjoying the, the Texas summer. Yes. I'm, just, I'm still sitting, though, in front of my banner. I never leave home without it. No, you don't. Never. It's probably, I bet it's hotter in this office than it is on your back porch. <laughs> Uh, you know what? And you're probably right because when I left the office just a few minutes ago, you could you could see the steam rising off of your computer. That's how hot. hot it it's so hot in here, and I think yeah, it's late summer in Texas. Is it is it hot in there because of the the air or just because of the product? Because I'm telling you, there's some hot product that came out last week. There's yep. hot product coming out this week. Yeah, I think there's, it's there's the hot, hot product, product coming out all the time. Yeah, I think it's the hot product, actually. Um, Maybe that's why our office is so warm. There's just hot product everywhere. Yeah, there's hot product have we everywhere. That in? There's yes, no, we we have. In fact, I was oh. that was going to be my answer. It's the product oh. that, that makes things so hot. Um, the newest hot product, Scotty, is uh, a venerable brand, 2021 certified football. I don't know what venerable means, but it's just longstanding kind of his. Look at yeah. that right there. Yep, that's it. So that's, I thought we got that's venerable. It is venerable. It's that's what Tracy said. Time. It it's delivers. A big word. It's a big word. It but always I, delivers. Whatever, whatever he says, it's go. venerable, and it's got the two New York or two of the New York quarterbacks on the box with the Zach Wilson and Danny Daniel Jones, Danny Dimes, Danny Dimes. Uh, and we're going to, I think we're probably going to be unwrapping a few boxes of that here in just a little bit. Stay tuned to see. Foreshadow. I mean, like, listen, you can't have this box sitting in front of you and not open it. That's all I got to say. So, yes. No. And speaking of hot, Scotty, I'm going to show you one card real quick. Just one. Okay. Okay. It's not from certified. All right. And it's, oh, Ooh. look, it's Teddy Bridgewater. Is that the new starting quarterback of your Denver Broncos? It is the new starting quarterback. Teddy yeah. Bridgewater announced this week. Head yeah. coach Vic Fangio uh, said that he won the, the QB competition between him and Drew Lockett. Awesome. Teddy's the guy. We love Teddy. One we of go our, way back our, to Teddy. Yeah, we've done so many events with him. We've gotten to know him. I was fortunate enough, although you wouldn't have known it all these years later, when he was drafted, I was actually fortunate enough to be backstage when he was drafted. Um, such a humble kid. I know we waited around all night to hear his name called and we were just, me and Jason had our heads down. We were like, Oh man, we wanted Teddy in there. And then the Vikings straight up, they grabbed him in the first round and the rest is history. But, uh, but I wanted to show you Mike, my starting quarterback okay, of yeah. your it's, Dallas Cowboys. It's your Dallas Cowboys. There's his card right there. Oh, that's um, uh, oh, it's invisible. It looks I mean, like. uh, I don't know. We'll see if it's Dak Prescott. Uh, could it be could anybody be, at this point. It, it could be Cooper Rush, bro. It could be Cooper Rush. Um, I don't know. You know what I would say is that you've got your starting quarterback. We have ours. We're just gonna see if he plays in two weeks. How about if that? If his shoulder, if his shoulder shows up to uh, week one, yeah, we'll see. But you know what? That conversation just just it just shows how excited everybody is for football. How about that? I, yeah, I mean, it's... we can't wait. I know everybody jokes around about my shirt. Um, my my team is playing this weekend mm. in one of the first college football games of the year. So we got football back and it's and it's gonna be a fun year, man. Yeah, I can't wait. It's one of my favorite times of the year. It's almost like Christmas and August slash September when the season starts up. Yes. Um, fantasy football starts up, and we all we all know a lot of the hottest players in fantasy are also the hottest players in the hobby. And yep. it's a fun time. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to yeah. it. Look, and, I love one the, and one of the hottest players mm -hmm. in any sport, yes, in any country on in this on this planet, and I'll even venture to go out there and say in the in the galaxy how about that is patrick okay. mahomes yeah yes he, i mean am i right <laughs> yeah i mean he's been to two I mean, i'm not i'm Bowls. not exaggerating here on this one so you he know what Super Bowl, what in honor of that we should mm -hmm. revisit some patrick mahomes footage how about that 
I think that's a great idea. I think we have a couple of options. Uh, we've done a few different events with him. Um, which have. one do you which one do you think we should profile in this episode, Scott? You know, uh, there's so many of them. We actually flew him to Philadelphia the night before the draft mm, and did no. an event with him. Not that um, one. That was a fun one. Let's um, not do that one. No, uh, you know, rookie photo shoot. Mm, um, no. There was one event that, as a rookie, that we did that was actually pretty fun because nobody knew he was going to blow up and be the guy that he did. But we did the player of the day event with Patrick Mahomes, and we took him to a collector's house. What? Which, looking back on it now, it's who would have ever, you know, guessed that it would be where it was. But we sat out in his front yard um, and threw passes with everybody in the neighborhood. He went and opened cards with Patrick, signed stuff, went to his local hobby shop with Patrick and signed. Um, just a fun day. Um, you know, one, one of my favorite memories from that day, too, and. I'm sure if you asked Patrick, he'd remember it. But there was this next door neighbor who was and not invited, but he crashed the party. He crashed the party in a good way, though. Um, we're only speculating that what was in his cup probably wasn't uh, wasn't soda pop. That he might have had a couple of uh, he kind of it might have been a little bit stronger than soda pop. Let's just say okay. And uh, out of nowhere, as we're getting ready to go back in the house. He just yells out at Patrick, hey, I'm open, you know, hit me. <laughs> and Patrick turns around and fires one to this guy. And, and oh. it wasn't that hard. But the fact that he didn't have all of his balance, let's yeah. just say, with him, yeah. he had this small porch that wasn't oh. as much bigger than a, a te- uh, you know, a six-foot table. Yeah. And he just right here and just <laughs> – Feet up in the air over the side of the porch, yeah. just <laughs> depleted this guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, and I, I don't. I mean, I know we don't have video of it, but it is one of the funniest things that I've probably ever got to do with an athlete. Wow. And just Patrick looked at me, and his his agent Chris Cabot was there. Just Chris Cabot. Shout out to Chris. He's an awesome dude. One of yeah. my favorites. And the three of us just kind of did one of these to each other, and we just God. slowly walked back into the house and just. Poor guy. <laughs> and they, they, I don't know. The next, there might have been a chalk outline around that house afterwards. This guy, the way he went off that porch, I, I don't know. But wow. uh, well, that's uh, well. That I'm was sorry. There's no. <laughs> I'm sorry. There's no video of that moment on the video that you're, you're going to see later in the day, but we captured all the other moments from yes. that day, the player of the from day, that day prize, yes. uh, with Patrick Mahomes coming into the guy's living room and his kitchen. And yes. Uh, so that's pretty awesome. I love that promotion that we yeah. do every year. And uh, it is, it is COVID is, I mean, just to be honest, man, COVID is, is really challenged that event because of social distancing and whatnot. But um, I've, I've had, I'm blessed, you know, because, nothing is better than pulling up in front of somebody's house and walking up to their house with a professional athlete and right. they get to do whatever they want. And I've, I've been lucky enough. I've taken uh shack of all people to somebody's house, Patrick, mm-hmm. um, you know, a couple of other guys and, and uh, just, you know, we let them do whatever they want to do. And a lot of them play video games, hang out with their friends. Um, you know, and now we've, we've kind of changed that to where it's a zoom call. Mm-hmm. And, and what's really neat about the Zoom call aspect of it is that you can have anybody that you want on a Zoom call, right? Yeah. I mean, you, you know, if you're going to take Patrick Mahomes to somebody's house, not a lot of people can fly in for it. Not a lot of people can travel to it. But when you're on a Zoom call, you can invite your whole family across the country, across the world. And and we've now done a couple virtually. We're about to do the grand prize winner for NBA virtually again. Um, and you're just, it, it is neat to be able to do that. And, and, and it doesn't lose its luster, so to speak, because, uh, you're not right there in their living room, but, uh, yeah. but it you is know, a great promotion. It's, it's been 20 plus years we've done it and it's free. That's yes. the best. We do it twice a year, basketball, and football, um, free to hobby shops. Anybody can sign up and, uh, it's just been, it's been fun to be able to do that promotion. Yes. So 
that's our long-winded way of saying stay tuned for later in the episode when we get to relive <laughs> very long homes uh, player of the day grand prize event uh, we also grill a few nfl rookies on we ask them scott we ask them to finish one sentence for us is at the end of my rookie season my panini america rookie card will be blank and yes. uh i can't wait i can't remember now what all of them said so i'm looking forward to watching their responses yeah, there was again. some good uh, again these guys are super creative they 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 think differently than than what me or you might think and mm -hmm. so some of the answers were very very creative a lot of them were you know heavily collected valuable mm -hmm. yeah traded a lot um but stay tuned because there were some good answers some good and then speaking of good answers um tim yoder has some good answers later in the episode He's the yes. brand manager that kind of helped come up with 2021 certified football. So we yes. grill him about the making which, of that product. Which is vindicated. No, venerable. It's a venerable. Yes, that's what you said. No, yeah, venerable. It's not vindicated. Um, just, yeah, just let me do the words and, and you just. Okay. You just do the looking good part. Okay. Ah. Uh, um, what else, Scotty? Anything else before we uh, kick this episode off? You know, I'm excited. Uh, we well, you know, we did we did talk about or we didn't talk about, but we were talking about it just before we jumped on NFT baseball. Yes, Prism Baseball NFT blockchain launched this week, um, and you know, I don't want to say I was surprised by the performance because I, you know, our NFT pack stuff has been going crazy in a good way with uh, Prism Basketball and Select UFC, and I don't know. It, Baseball seems to have resonated just as much because all the base packs on day one sold out. Uh, the insert yeah. packs sold out on day two. And I'm quite certain that the day three stuff coming uh, this week will probably be gone quickly as well. So, yeah, uh, we're, we've built a lot of momentum on the NFT side and it seems like it's uh, continuing to gain steam. So that's exciting. Yeah, that's great, man. Well, Again, I've been the one that's long-winded in this one. So let's just get to it. We got a good episode. How about that? Yeah, stay tuned for episode 10. It's kind of a milestone episode in a sense. At least it's a good round number. A lot of people thought we wouldn't make it to episode two. So <laughs> 10 a good number. And I think Ryan... I still think there's a lot of people that, that didn't know we've gone beyond two. How about that? Yeah, there's probably yeah, that's fair enough. But Ryan's not going to let him forget because he's got a no a little a little montage reel of our first nine episodes that'll yes. be fun to watch as well. Yes, but shout out to Ryan. Yeah, shout Former out to our ninety. Baby. And let's no, let's just go. Not let's moment. just get into the episode. Let's just go. Stop. I'm using words now. Stop. Enjoy. Enjoy. <laughs> <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen. I have the distinct pleasure of being joined now by a guy who I've known for years, I've considered him a friend for years, Tim Yoder, one of the just extremely talented brand managers here at Panini America. Tim, thanks for coming on, man. Well, thank you for having me. You know, as, as they say, a long time listener, first time caller. Um, well, we, we appreciate that. Um, yeah. And you're kind of the man of the hour now because... You know, every time a new product releases, we try to have somebody who was um, instrumental in developing that product on the podcast with us. And this week, 2021 Certified Football released, um, and that was your product. You you helped kind of bring that one to life. So, uh, congratulations on that. Thank you. It's always it's always good seeing a product, uh, you know, go out and get live in the marketplace and, and hear people's feedback. So we're looking forward to it. How many months ago, give or take, did you first start hatching plans for 2021 certified? Um, probably eight to nine months ago. That's usually the, the product life cycle. That's crazy to think like you, you start working on it eight or nine months out, knowing every time that you, you're not going to see the fruits of that labor for, for eight or nine months. So, what what is the most uh, painstaking part of that process uh, between start to uh, release day? 
Uh, I would say waiting for waiting for back out and just seeing the cards. I mean, that's that's usually the most exciting time. Um, you know, sometimes when you see the cards that year, you know, you start coming up with ideas already for next year, right? And then that's painstaking as well because you want to see those ideas already. And then you know you have to wait a year out. Um, and it might not even be your product next year. So, you know, you have to like pass that along to somebody else and, and you know, give them that feedback and those ideas. And, um, you know, the, I mean, really the whole, the whole, uh, the whole process is, is pretty exciting. Talk a little bit about how, how uh, building a product that has a long lineage like certified differs from starting a product from scratch. Um, I think you have to stay a little bit in the boundaries. I mean, you can't just get crazy. Uh, which is good and bad. Uh, I mean, certified is just an awesome product every year. So it's definitely not bad in certified's case. And, and you know, you still get to add things like we did um, like certified air, certified ground. I think we did dark horses was the first year this year. <clears throat> um, you know, so some of that stuff. And then, you know, you get to see the, just the beautiful RPAs that are in certified every year. Um, you know, and then you just, you, you make your, your changes that you want to see. Um, and you know you, you kind of move forward with those, but you know an established brand is is definitely like I said you have to stay in the boundaries a little more, but at the same time it's more comfortable, and you yeah. can kind of add you can kind of add those big things and and you know know that even if they don't work the way you want them to, the product is still going to be okay because it's such a great brand. Yeah, um, yeah, I was get, that was kind of part of my next question is do, do you uh sometimes uh, struggle w- with the pressure of knowing I can't screw certified up and this cert- people love certified and they have for yeah. years. I can't mess this up. Yeah, no, you, I mean, like you said, you definitely do. So you try not to you try not to change the main, you know, the main things people love. Um, you know, you're not going to change the RPAs. You're not going to take them away or anything, anything like that. But um, you know, you try to, like I said, you try to do what you can and uh, you know, just add value. You know, we try to do that every year is add something, add value. Um, and you know, that's, that's our usual process for, for the established brands like that. What is your favorite? I know there were quite a few new insert sets added this year to, to a certified football. Which one of those or which new addition to, uh, to the product is your favorite? I like dark horses. Um, I know some people are confused by the checklist because you know, like Tom Brady's in there, Patrick Mahomes is in there, but you know, at one point in their career, they were a dark horse. Um, and that's kind of what we were going for. But, uh, you know, I really like the way that one turned out. Um, you know, Stat Smashers is, looks amazing. I love it. It kind of looks like a Las Vegas marquee sign or something. Mm-hmm. So those turned out really well. I mean, of course, you know, the RPAs, but those aren't new. Um, and Certified Air and Certified Ground, definitely a good theme that we can improve on going forward. I really like the design of Dark Horses. Um and so that, and you mentioned the, the Stat Smashers insert as well. How much uh, creative influence do you have on, on those new insert designs? Um, you know, we can kind of have as much or as little as we want. Um, you know, normally we try to give a general theme to the design team and kind of let them do their magic, which, you know, they're amazing at. Um, you know, so, so like Dark Horses, I think, you know, our, our general general description was, you know, something with like a dark horse in the background, right? You know, maybe some kind of cool effects. And, you know, they, I think they killed it with that design. Um, yeah, it know, looks great. It really yeah, does. No, yeah, it does. It does. And then Stat Smashers, um, you know, there's kind of some lineage from that from years ago. So they were able to kind of, you know, build off of that from some of the older programs. So. Um, when you're going about putting a product together, how often, if any, do you get designs back and you're like, hold on, hold on. No, this is completely off. This is not what we were thinking about. It doesn't happen very often. Um, you know, during, with the challenges of COVID, I mean, it's happened maybe more often than it had previously, but it doesn't happen very often at all. I mean, those guys are, are pros at their jobs. And, you know, they usually, you know, we've, we've all worked together long enough to they, they kind of know what we're thinking. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I think, and usually when it happens, it's for a good reason, right? Like, you know, maybe we wanted something and, and, you know, that's not allowed, you know, you can't, you know, you can't tweak the NFL shield or something like that. And that was, that was the reason. So there's usually a good reason for it on top, yeah. of, on top of anything else. 
Um, you mentioned pack out, and that's really the first opportunity you get to see live packs, live boxes coming through, and you guys get one or two cases, and you check for collation, make their, make sure things are dropping as they should. Um, yeah. Is there ever a sense of nervousness before, like, the day of pack out, and you're going because you want to make sure that, that everything falls as it should? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, you, you try – when you're doing your collation, you definitely try to build the value in each box. And, um, you know, the, the case at box is usually very easy, right? Like, but the, you know, the middle tier boxes are, are, are really tough. So you try to, you know, you're trying to build value with parallels or, you know, better inserts or something like that. So when you go to pack out, you know, it's, you know, since they're a separate company that, you know, that do the pack, that do the collation and stuff for us, you know, if you weren't really, really, you know, detailed deeds. Yeah, exactly. Detailed. I mean, sometimes it gets lost in translation, so you got to kind of halt things up and, and, you know, um, get it, get it ironed out. But for, I mean, and again, that's something that doesn't really happen very often with the way, you know, the way our systems work, it's pretty clear cut. So. Yeah. Um, and then two more questions I have for you. What, okay. um, take 2021 certified football. What one aspect of that program, will still be a part of 2031 certified football. Uh, it's definitely got to be the RPAs. <laughs> Those, they, they hit every time. And I mean, they're, they're awesome. I'm going to, I'm just going to tack on to my answer anyway, even though you, you know, you asked for one, but I'm going to say gold team as well. Cause gold team is just a staple of certified. So those two definitely. All right, cool. Gold teams. So when you guys start sketching plans for 2031 certified in the next few months, um, <laughs> gold, gold team and RPAs are definites. Yes, and sir. then finally, finally, what's the biggest compliment you can receive as a, a guy who develops a product uh, once people start opening that product? Oh, I mean, just to hear that they were happy with their boxes or their case or whatever it might be. You know, I mean, you don't you don't like seeing people that weren't happy with their box or their you know their case, and you know you want them to get some kind of value out of it, right? Even if it's you know, just, you know, you got to make the cards look good. You have to, you know, you want the hits to look good. You want your parallels, and, you know, you want people to be happy about what they opened and, you know, you want them to have a good time. Um, you know, and that's, that's the main thing. Sweet. Well, I've had a great time here with you today, Tim. And yes, sir. Uh, I look forward to the next opportunity we have. What, what's one of your products that you've worked on is next up that I can look forward to our next opportunity. Well, we have classics premium edition, I believe will be the next one out. That's pretty sexy. It is. I'm um, pretty, we're pretty excited about that back in the, uh, the PDT football side. We've been wanting to bring classics back for a while, so that'll be exciting. Well, you guys are a bunch of classics yourself. So um, so do I have an early commitment to have you on the week that a classics premium releases? Yes, sir. Absolutely. Sweet. All right. Well, Tim, thanks for coming on, man. Have a great uh, rest of your day, and we'll talk soon. All right. You as well. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. At the end of my rookie season, my Panini America rookie card will be... At the end of my rookie season, my Panini rookie card will be fantastic. <laughs> so the most? <laughs> I like it. I guess most popular, I guess. Legendary. Love it. <laughs> Man, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's going to be pretty cool, though. I'll tell you that. It's going to be pretty cool. Okay. A big deal, I guess. Huh? One of the most valuable cards. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. My rookie card will be. Uh, let's see. Um, sold around the globe. One of the top sellers. Love it. Super Bowl champ, I hope. Yeah, it's gonna be priceless. Cause I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna uh, stop signing stuff in a minute. So I mean, I think it is gonna double up. <laughs> okay. Popular. Hopefully sold. <laughs> Hopefully oh, it's sold gonna out. be. Oh, it, it's gonna be. Yeah, sold out is good. It's gonna be sold a lot. Trust me. Sought after. I love it. Priceless, yeah. Definitely priceless. Okay. I go with that one. I like that. Scott, we're back together again. We're back. And there's a reason. It's for one of our favorite segments reason. of the yes. show. Yes. I think you know what that is. Don't you? 
unwrap, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Yo. Let's unwrap it, baby. 21 Ooh. certified. We just talked about it in the open. Certified. We talked to Tim Yoder about it in yeah. the episode. It's a product that d- delivers every year the Freshman Fabric RPAs, the Mirror Parallels, the Gold Team stuff. Yeah. It's You know what you're going to get. Um, and it's always exciting. And I'm just going to rip in. Scotty, I'm ripping in. I will too. I, I, I'm going to rip in, but I got a, I got an interesting side story. Okay. With certified, it was one of my first products that we had like a sit down brainstorming whiteboarding, whiteboard meeting for. Okay. And I started with the company. Really? Yep. We went to Doug certified Goddard's football? house. Do you remember that? Yep. You might have been there too. We went to Doug Goddard's house. Yeah, we sat down and we went over the whole program front to back, and came up with some really cool ideas that we that have still, I think, probably this day are in in the program. Yes, uh, look at I'm that. Sure they are. Hold on. Oh, smell it! Yeah, ah, man, oh, it that's goodness so good. right there, bro. It smells so good. So you uh, got five cards per pack, two autographs. Two memorabilia car- or cards in each box. Yep, 10 packs a box. I mean, it's a it's a fun rip. Like you already mentioned, the two New York guys are on the front. Yep, Joe. I got a gold, dude. Amir Gold Certified Gamer Joe Schobert, 10. Nice. Number 10, prime jersey piece. Ooh, very nice. Very nice. I got the seal of approval, Tom Brady. Oh, yeah. He gets my seal yeah. of approval, too. I'm about to say, he gets a lot of people's seal of approval. You get my seal of approval, Scotty. Well, thank you, man. Well, I mean, I appreciate it. Well, that's it. Look, I just call him out and see him, bro. Ooh. James Robinson. And what is turned into one of my favorite inserts? The Yeah, that that's way cool. The 20 I love that. Yep. Yeah, the graffiti kind of like look. Graffiti looking look, yeah. Here's Kenny and Wong Wu. Rookie mirror blue, yeah, out of 50. And I'm only showing this because he's my favorite player. Oh, DK, DK. Medcalf. Any card of Here's DK one of my Medcalf favorites. is awesome. And that's your ah, McCaffrey. Christian McCaffrey, S- son of the great Ed McCaffrey, by the way. Yeah. Just not, I'm just gonna throw that out there, right? Kyler Murray. Stars. There he is. K1. Yep. Look at that. He is most definitely. Oh, speaking of future stars, Trey Lance. Ooh, Trey. There's his rookie card numbered out of $9.99. Yes, sir. Oh, I got. Okay. I got my first gold team. I got my first hit. Okay. And it's Tracy's absolute favorite player, Najee oh. Harris. Yep. He is He's giving you a shout out as we speak. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> and DK Medcalf. Oh, there's your gold guy. team. Najee is not my favorite player. <laughs> it's like a real. Oh. And I don't think he you're is. his favorite person either. How about no, that? he hates me. Bit, uh, Ooh. Gold good team. Auto Stephon for me. Diggs. Did you get a good one? Stephon Diggs. Nice. Gold team. Yep. All right, ready? Jason Taylor Hall of Fame Ooh, auto. I like it. I love that design, too. That is very cool. It's very unique. It's very simple. I love the logo in there. And then I pulled the Cam Akers, another graffiti okay. Cam Akers. 2021 insert. Oh, I got a Michael Carter RPA. Nice. See Michael that nice Carter. autograph of his? He's got a nice signature, man. Very nice. And that's numbered. Tommy, uh, Tommy Trimble, numbered card. That's numbered out of 299. So that's a rookie. Seal of approval. Another guy that needs no. Who is? He gets everybody's seal of approval, and that's Aaron Donald. Yes, he does. He most certainly does. Josh Allen. Uh, another Ooh. classic. Certified insert. Nice. Piece, piece of, of the piece of the game. Of the game. Right. game. Yep. Yeah. Darius Slayton. Aaron Rodgers stars. Woo. Lots of inserts. Yep. Lots uh, of nice color. 
yeah, a lot of good color, a lot of pop. It's always known for that foil. Pat Fryermuth. Oh, there Great he is. Great kid. Great kid. That is numbered out of 249. Auto Mem. Nice patch. I got a mirror signature, Scotty, of I know we mentioned in the open the player of the day program. Yes. And there was a guy whose nickname is the Cheetah. Who yeah. is a running guy. Matt yes. Brita. Brita the Cheetah. Yeah. Great time with him, man. A nice a autograph. Blast. And that's an we took him. Too. We took the winner of that year and toured, got an exclusive tour of San Francisco Stadium. Brita was there. Um, Adrian Colbert was there. I mean, we yep. had a couple other 49ers there. It was just a fun time, man. Yeah, that was a great event. New generation out of 50, Ooh. Devonta Smith. Heisman Trophy winner. Heisman Trophy winner. There's my 2021 insert is J.K. Dobbins. Nice. Nice. All right. Now the last pack wonder. Last oh, pack wonder. What you got? Ooh. Not an auto, not a mem, but a Kyle Trask out of five. Wow. That's Looks like a good. green Are emerald. One? That's beautiful. A green emerald. And you already showed one, but. This is turning into one of my favorite inserts, the Dark What's Horses. That? Yeah, the Dark Horses. I love the design. I love the Dark Horses. I got Stefan Diggs. There's your guy, Dak Prescott, Scotty. That's Stars. him, man. Stars. All right, here's my last pack wonder. Last pack wonder. I Mine was good. Let's see if you can one-up me. I got – well, I think I might uh, – mm, I can't on the numbering, but I did pull a Trevor Lawrence. Ooh. 2021. Insert, and I don't and know if you've have, heard QB one. By the way, QB one for sure. And I got to announce your boy Teddy Bridgewater. And as no surprise, they announced today that Trevor will be the QB one. I've got to uh, show this card because, and this is kind of a shot at us. And I'm sure it was we had limited photography of the great Creed Humphrey, but I thought this was a guy from production running. Um, <laughs> yes, but it's not, it's the great lineman Creed Humphrey. So, uh, the great lineman Creed Humphrey. Well, Scotty, that's certified football. It is fun, it is venerable. I love it. If I can say that, well, you just said it. Oh, yeah, I did. And uh, it's always a fun rip. It's out, run, don't walk to get it because it might not last long. And uh, hey, Scotty, Absolutely. let's do this again sometime soon. I, you know what? I've got it on my calendar to do it next week. So let's yes. do it. Yes. All right. I love you. And uh, I love I all of you too. Life. And uh, we'll see you. All right. Bye. Bye. Patrick. Hey, nice to meet you. you. Congratulations on winning, by the way. Great to meet you. Yeah. Nice That's to meet awesome. you, man. Yeah, for sure, man. That's awesome. That's awesome. I'm so excited. Yeah. How are y'all doing? Man. Patrick, nice to meet all y'all. Yeah, for sure. From nice to meet you. Store. Okay, nice Hopefully. to meet y'all. I think yeah. we're going to start off by throwing a football as long as you can stand it. No, that sounds good to me. That's what I do best. <laughs> yeah. The highlight of the day for me was throwing the football in the front yard. I mean, that's something that you don't always get to do, especially with an active NFL player. So that was by far the best. Who's up? Anybody ready? Well, it was great to have my friends and family there to uh, share the experience with me. For them to be able to be there and support me and help me through it and then make me comfortable with my homes and just having them there. There it is. Oh, good catch. The highlight of the day was probably my, my man right here, his hand. So I, I was throwing the football, and little man was, was catching everything. So that was definitely the highlight of the day. I always think that uh, athletes have, like, this high personality, and they just, you know, they don't really relate to ordinary people like us, but he's completely down to earth, just like you or me or anybody. It was awesome. I just want to ask you about the uh, NASCAR race. Yes. The jorts and the cutoff. 
<laughs> the full story. All right, so. Calling him out. A- Anthony, no. A- no. so Anthony Sherman, our fullback, mm-hmm. he had went. They had went to the race last year, and I didn't get to go. And it was with him and Garrett Dieter, and a lot of guys went. I, I said, Sherman, I, shall I wear the jorts? And he was like, Yeah, if you wear the jorts, you're gonna be good. Like I won't say anything. I'm like, right, I'll wear them. It blew up over social media. I get asked about it literally every single interview, every single thing I do now. Well, that was definitely a surprise because I know I'd never be able to afford it. <laughs> Being able to get Patrick in on it and go through the box card by card, it was it was awesome. I really enjoyed it. Really? Yeah. Uh, Doug Baldwin. Yeah, being with JP here uh, was an awesome experience. I mean, him and his family and his friends were all very cool people. Uh, they were, they kept it where I was a little nervous at first, but they kind of made it where we kind of got along really well. And so it was an awesome experience to be out here with them. Nice to meet you. Well, collecting cards definitely led me to being able to hang out with Mahomes. Um, I really never thought it was possible. I, I just, you know, I didn't think it could lead anything like this. But so to get the opportunity from Panini to hang out with Mahomes was amazing. Yes, sir. Straight through. Hey. Getting your own trading card, I mean, when you're growing up, you collect them. You look at those cards of your favorite players, and so to see my name and my picture on those trading cards is something that's it's really surreal and something that I, I will never forget. Panini uh, Player of the Day program, along with the Father's Day program and other great programs like that, encourage buyers to buy a whole box of cards or even packs of cards and win additional free packs where they can get their superstars and even memorabilia and autograph cards. You want me in the middle? Yeah, Being part of the Panini family has been awesome for the whole entire time. I mean, just, it really is a family. Uh, Y'all have really accepted me in, and it's been a smooth transition as I've kind of began my career, and I'm excited for everything going forward. Where's your, where's your teeth? Okay. Oh, the rec- recording started. Uh-oh. That'll be on one of the uh, outtakes. <laughs> <laughs> So the the storm drain on our street is clogged up. So we're like literally mid shin deep um, on the on the street. It's crazy. You know he's gonna he's not gonna watch one of these and <laughs> slip at some point. <laughs> then you show a couple. Okay. Ah! Boom! <laughs> 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 That's gonna be in an outtake, Ryan. Uh, oh, was, yeah. uh, high winds up in Dallas, Texas. Today. Nice. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I thought Florida was having a hurricane. <laughs> that um, was awesome. That was pretty special, man. All right, I'm back. That was pretty I'm special. Back. Hold on. <laughs> I got my hand down. Check my nails. Luckily, Ryan's a great editor, so he can. Fast forward to like he just two. he probably enjoys like watching this kind of crap. You're recording. You look pretty tan. Too. I guess I I can't see on this little screen. See, you look like you got a little sun. I got a little bit. I got a little yeah. bit. I got a little bit of burn. Burn going. Yeah. It's turning burn, baby. I've got two shades. <laughs> you like to party? I like to party. I mean, he's yeah. learning that we're not squeaky clean. But you, you're not. I mean, I certainly. Am. I've got a rep to uphold, bro. David Sharp regarding Panini Instant. He, you know, he's got a big night this week, Thursday with the Yeah, draft, yeah. Where I'll be doing all the work, by the way. Um, and then... <laughs> so good! So good. So, I can't believe you didn't know that. Well, at least you didn't tell the story about the card that my dad gave me <laughs> that is my most, <laughs> one of my most prized possessions that my dad's ever given me turned out to be altered or something. <laughs> Scotty P's being recorded. Woo! Oh, God. Wiping my butt. Yeah. Let's go, let's go in three. Well, hold on, wait, wait, before oh, we do that. Yeah. I'm telling you, it is the middle of August. I'm wearing a sweatshirt. It's like a sauna in here. It's so hot. <laughs> it's so hot. It's so hot. <laughs> well, that was fun. That was awesome.